Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, I'm Mr. Balelish and in today's episode the plan was to come here into Sepermeru and farm this area here over and over again until we got the Archpriest of Set. We were also going to kill a bunch of thralls in this area between the respawns from these guys to get some more hearts but as soon as we got here that guy here, Hoshun, was already there. So that's going to make the first part of this video really, really quick. And I'm going to probably just shift the plans a bit, maybe make some new Guardian Golems and try the Cellar Dungeon instead. But for this, we'll just go here. We'll just put these guys there at the distance, tell them to stop so they don't interfere too much, and use these orbs to knock that guy out. Let's see. It's going to take a while, but it is what it is. Just wait here. It's going to be nice and easy. Even if the orbs aren't enough, we can just take that consciousness bar as low as we can and then finish him off with the truncheon. Well, that was a miss, was it? Yep. These two poor fellas don't have the same resistance as the big boy over there. And it seems it's not going to be enough, but it should be fine either way. Let's finish him off with the truncheon. Alright, he's down. Let's run away. I'm not even going to fight you guys, Alchemist. You can live. Everyone's following me. Okay, we are entering our dungeon where we can get this guy's training started. The Master Tanner is done. We need some gruel. Okay, we have eight, so it's just enough for it to get started, but we need to get more of that for sure. Did we finish the journey step? Convert a perch thrall. By dragging and knocked out enemy to the Wheel of Pain, you begin the process of breaking them. They will serve you as trolls. Get trolls increase. Okay, we have converted them. Okay, so I was looking at why I didn't get the Purge Defender completed, because I did convert to Purge Thrall. I thought maybe dragging him into one of the crafting stations would trigger that, but it didn't. I think it's because of the order. The order, like, you have to complete the purge, and only then you can drag a knocked out enemy to the Wheel of Pain. So, if you drag your Thrall, like, from, like, the second or third wave into the Wheel of Pain, it doesn't count as this one, which is... A a bit stupid, the complete purge should be the last one. Uh, it would always be an issue because you could also complete the purge and then drag it and then you would have the same problem. But uh, just if you didn't need to make these in order, it would be better, I believe. But anyway, I'm going to have to give up on that one. Uh, I'm going to switch to the High Priest. Since our plan is to go into the cellar, it is a rough dungeon overall, so we have to take a couple of things to prepare for. I'm going to craft the abyssal armor, just because the armor we had was uh, encumbrance armor. This one's more combat oriented, so it's going to serve us better, and we are going to be killing stuff, so it should all done nicely. Let's just get this. And we are looking very sorcerer-like once again. Our two golems from last time, as you recall, were already quite battered, uh, lower than half-life. I want to test the iron golems in the cellar, because I'm not sure if they're going to make it all the way through to the end. It's quite a challenging dungeon. So. I want to give the Iron Golem the best chance possible by creating brand new ones and taking them full health. If they die, we just try to deal with the rest of the dungeon by ourselves. If they survive, 
that is perfect. Also, I'm going to try the lightning head. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, not yet. So I'm going to tell this guy to follow me. And I already have another one prepared right here for this exactly the same setup. So for this one, we're basically going to try and test see if two brand new iron golems will be able to do the all the content in there and come back alive. The final boss is quite tough though. So it is Sepermeru. For those of you who don't know, Cellar Dungeon is where you can get the set's truncheon. It is the cellar below Conan's bar. I don't think the bar actually belongs to Conan, but everyone calls it Conan's bar. It is a very challenging dungeon. It's one of the endgame ones. You have to be careful, you have to go prepared in there. There's a lot of relic hunters at the beginning. Uh, to get away from this sandstorm, we're going to go straight into the cellar dungeon. For those of you who don't know where the entrance is, it is just back here. Uh, if you see my videos, you should know where it is because I'm always coming here to see if I can get my hands on the set's truncheon. But this time we are going to try and go the whole way through. It is a really cool dungeon, very, very cool atmosphere. And we got the set's truncheon. That is not bad. It's getting close to the end of the playthrough, but still, it is a good truncheon to have. Why? Why? Okay. Kind of stuck here. Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. Thank you very much. Are these doing less damage than... They shouldn't be doing less damage than the sword guys, right? To summon the, the avatar of the god and to get the... Ooh, look at this spooky thing. We get that dramatic sound at the entrance and this huge cave filled with ghostly torches it's it's really it's really well made dungeon we are still going for the hearts of every human we kill because to get the god's protection and to summon the avatar you're going to need a lot of human hearts so it's just something we need where the other golem is but if we don't have both our golems working together on this one it's going to be going to be rough luckily we did get this predatory blade which does wonders for our combat ability oh and they do drop guardian parts as well so this might be a good place to come uh might be these relic hunters are a bit easier than the volcano guys there's also a lot of chests around this dungeon aren't there yeah got some stuff there there's another one right here 107 days after the fall core has failed we thought we knew what darkness was, but the shadows we knew were nothing more than the absence of light. This darkness is the end of hope. Thug is coming and we cannot stand against it. This is the end. Okay, that's very end of worldy. It's the first hint to what the end of this dungeon might be like. We can go through those and read them. They have that one. 97 days after the fall. It has haunted us from the city. We are all that remains. Kor believes that he can capture the creature, 
by reversing the ritual. He needs to return to the temple through the devastated streets of the city. I wish him well, but I will take my chances here on the fringes. About half of our party will go with him, while the rest remain here with me. We will pray to Set for his success. Okay. So Thug was unleashed and they were trying to re-imprison him somewhere. It's good to know. I don't think there's anything here. If you fall down these cliffs, you will die, so be careful with that. Get the heart from this guy and keep going. Uh, there's our the first boss, so let's get the Brent of Zingara. Let's get the golems on him, or on her in this case. Why isn't he getting us? Switch to the to the daggers here. So you can get as min as, as much DPS as we can to help out our golems. We're almost full stack on there, and that should be enough. We should take the iron as well if in case we need to repair our ritual knife. Heart of the hero. And we get two hearts from this guy. Or this guy. Is there any journal here? Doesn't look that way. These relic hunters are looking at the same thing as we did, like the the rituals they were talking about in the journals. Don't belong to the relic hunters. They belong to the the people that used to live in this city, but got destroyed by a ritual and Fog the Destroyer or whatever he's called. Ready, some skeletons ready to pounce on us. There should be a journal somewhere here, shouldn't there? Okay, let's let's make a jump for it. And I think this marks the end of our heart gathering possibility because right now it's basically undeads all the way through. I don't know where my golems are, but I would love them to help. But I would love if they could help me. I am going to put my sickle out and get some skulls out of them. It is quite dark in here, so I'm going to, to cast our light spell. The torches, as you go through, they start illuminating. And there's another journal here. 94 days after the fall, the ritual has gone wrong. The demon known as Thag has escaped confinement. The screams of the priests echo across the city and the temple has become a slaughterhouse. We are fools. We have locked ourselves in the darkness with a fiend. I want to feel pity for the unsuspecting dissonance of the other quarters, but I can only feel a bone-deep fear that settles on my soul. We plan to get out, to find a space outside the limits of the city. Perhaps the demon will tire of the slaughter. Perhaps we will find safety. Perhaps we can find hope. Alright.
That is very ominous. We are going in the direction of the said demon. And there's more guys too. Okay, this is where it starts getting a bit yeah, a bit hairy because there's so many skeletons around here. I forgot there was the big ones as well. Okay, blue dude. All right. Are we on the clear? Just loot bodies and get some skulls. Should have gotten some buffs before coming in here. Okay, that was a hero skeleton right there. There's another journal here. 93 days after the fall. The ritual will proceed. The only course that remains for us is apostasy. To renounce the god who has abandoned us and seek new allies in the darkness. Kor is confident that we can control whatever the ritual summons. He has demonstrated his powers in the past. The doors of the temple have been shattered and the priests confined to their living quarters. We are prepared. Mm, probably not. Okay. Uh, I know there's some boxes around here. And since the boxes have a chance of getting some goodies, we are going to go for them. Okay, we should have enough steel and iron to repair anything we need to repair. We probably should have brought a, a repair, a legendary repair kit, just in case our weapon doesn't make all the way through. But let's hope it does. We still haven't faced the first boss. That's where we're going to gauge to see if the golems might make it or not. Right now, I'm not feeling too confident. And Neferkari facing Thug the Destroyer by himself doesn't seem like a very good prospect, to be honest. keep going we don't need that many skulls we already have a good amount so I'm going to stop getting the I'm going to stop farming all the scrolls there's a lot of boxes here but most of them are gold so they're not that good to get golem parts oh no I'm stuck here I cannot climb this can you guys go there please Okay, thank you. Uh, there's two boxes in here. Elixir of Might. I can use this. It's more damage. We do have a strength based weapon. Right. Well, that we can put straight into our set truncheon and replace the steel truncheon with that.
There's the first boss just ahead. This is a bit claustrophobic. Oh, the boss is already engaged. Alright. We have to do our best to help out our guys here because... Ouch. Ouch. Jeez. It was kind of a stagger, a fragment of power. Got kind of staggered there, what happened? Well, I almost got one shot, that's another thing that happened. Uh. Hmm. Alright. That's a bit alarming, but... I guess we have to keep going. No turning back at this stage. There's some quarters here. Probably some boxes back here. Oh, this is the other the other path. There's still some skeletons around. Skeletons aren't a problem at all. We are doing a good job so far. There's one of the chests here. Okay, so the boss came from this area here. There's screams coming from this well, which is a bit unnerving. Yeah, Corpse Mirror, I know. I don't know why I brought you here, I always do that. I always bring my... my mounts to very dangerous places. Oh, well, look at you. Taking that tree. All right. I'm checking for the boxes, but I'm realizing that mo. Oh, well, I say that, and I get a a golem part here. Okay, so. Our light spell has gone through. I'm not sure why. Usually less longer than that, isn't it? But anyway. Let's keep going. Over the bridge. I'm sure there's more boxes somewhere in there, but... If we go to explore every nook and cranny of this dungeon, it's going to be a while. Not that I mind, because I do like the exploration, but... Now we have, like, another path through here. No, it's not a path. Oh. I'm going to try to make sure that my golems lose as little health as possible, but 
It is not looking good for them, to be honest. They're almost at LFL. Um, yeah, the other ones wouldn't have a chance. I don't think these will either. The last fight is quite brutal. But Nefrekari is a sorcerer that is not afraid of death because we can summon our body back. So we are going to see this through one way or the other. here let's take everything over there it's a good place to get some fragments of power as well and there's a boss over this bridge so let's go through there I am trying to keep my eyes open for some journals, but I'm not actively going out of my way to search for them. This is a very foggy area with a boss guy. Trying to interrupt Oops. Ay, ay, ay. So I'm going to spawn in the dungeon and try to get there as soon as possible. My golems should be able to take that, but it's a two two hit build. A Kari remnant. Uh don't mind me guys. I'm just passing through. Don't mind me, please. I'm just going to run. Oh I lost my armor, didn't I? That might be it, guys. I didn't think this through. I lost my armor because when you die, you lose it. So we can try to complete the dungeon without any armor, but it doesn't seem like a good idea. It really doesn't. Ouch. Don't throw arrows at me. So we two hits kill us. That is brutal. That is really brutal. We got hit twice by that guy. I mean, we already kind of knew that with the guy that we fought over here. And he still decided to go go for a risky engagement there. We should have been more careful because we knew how, how hard this fight was going to be. Or dangerous. It's not hard per se. It is more of a dangerous fight. These are all dead, right? What? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. So our golems took care of the of the issue. Just tell them to follow me. I'm going to, to tell Corpsmir to stay here. Yep. Our armor is gone. We can put this one on to get some some armor value out of this we were two hits to die the relic fragment there we might try to equip ourselves on the way there oh crystalline guardian tour so that's nice i'm not sure if we're going to be able to find good enough armor pieces to make a difference Okay, another fragment of power, some more Kari steel. Seven days after the fall, sanity slowly returns. Those who survive have assembled in the temple district to take stock. All told, over a thousand of us still live. Men, women and children. The event has come to be known as the fall, which is an apt description for the moment when the earth swallowed our city. 
We still do not know what we have done to anger the great serpent, but the priests are burning sacrifices day and night. Yes, we still live, but there is no light aside from the fire we create ourselves and several species of luminescent fungi. Kor, who has a reputation as a mystic and a sage, has suggested that we turn to the library for our salvation, praying over the stories that have survived in searches of clues to help in our situation. I know that this is something that I can help with. All right. So this was one of the priests that tried to help with the, with the ritual. I'm going to leave Corpse Mirror here. This is not looking good for us guys, but the seller might have us defeated. I don't think I can do it without any armor. Uh, but I mean, we can try. There's another boss over here. Our damage is also... Our damage is also worse because of the... The loss of stats from the armor. Oh, and we got one shot by that guy. That's not good. Uh, at this stage, we did kill that guy. Mm. Just getting to our body might be... Oh, what body do we summon? Is it like the last body? Uh, that's something to, to be scared of. Uh, if we have several bodies, which one do we summon with our spell? If you just summon the last one, uh, I might be in some trouble here if I die on the way to the body. It was somewhere around this area, right? Yep. Let's get our stuff. Okay, the fragment of power, some curry steels, alright. Uh, no armor pieces. I don't think we're going to find some. <sighs> Just doing that so we don't have that many bodies lying around. Ah, uh, crap, let's use this. Um, should we do guys what should we do i don't want to i don't want to give up <laughs> these gardens aren't going to survive it i mean if i had um hope that these gardens would survive it we could try and finish the dungeon just play it safe with our character and let the golems do some of the work but we don't have armor and the golems don't have hp and it is going to be a bad time for us so i'm not sure what to do we can keep going until the golems die and once the golems die we will probably die as well and summon our body back three days after the fall the world has stopped shaking the dust has cleared we live but the world we knew is gone our city has been swallowed by the earth many have died crushed beneath the rumble more are wounded and trapped we hear their screams echoing in the gloom but we cannot find them why has set abandoned us so it seems like there was this major event that swallowed the city into darkness and then they tried to with the knowledge from their ancient libraries uh, they tried to summon thug to help them somehow and that backfired because he's known as thug the destroyer not a thug the rebuilder so I'm 
can use the elixir of might. There's a sword there, but no armor piece. That's the boss. That is going to be rough. If he hits us, we are dead. And we managed to kill another boss, which was not that bad. Okay. These guys will not survive the fight against Thug, for sure. Neither will we. I don't think even if we play really, really well like a god, we, will, we won't be able to make it. There's too many skeletons in that, in that area. We are going to get hit. And Thug himself is not going to be easy. If these guys had like half health going into that fight, we could attempt it. Oh, well, we're going to attempt it anyway, but we would have hoped to achieve it. But luckily, as a sorcerer, death is only temporary for Nefrikari, so. As long as he's not bound to some curse from Tug the Destroyer, we should be able to summon our body back and just relax. There's a spider in here that I'm not going to try and tangle, tangle with. Uh, I mean, we could try and kill the spider. We already know we won't be able to kill Thag the Destroyer. But we might see more journals. If we get all the way to the end, we might see all the journals. And then in a later episode, we might just come back here and just go through the dungeon. to get some dots uh, there's a big one over there creepy looking giant spider all right guys this is it go for it i know we're probably going to die on this one but One of the golems is down. Let's try to use the, the last one to tank as much as we can. Dots in, ouch, we got got hit there. 
Uh, I don't think we're going to make it, but oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. You need to get the attention of that baddie. Okay. Body blocking him. That's, that's that's good enough. Take it, man. Damn it, he's going to die, isn't he? I just wanted to get the dots in while the golem's still alive. Just so when we switch to our sword and shield, we can get some damage uh, over time. He's no longer following you, so we have to, we have to do this. lot bigger range than it shows okay right now we just have to be patient and afraid oh, that rock really screwed me over there move 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 come on ah uh. I'm going to die. Yep, I'm going to die because the... Uh, well, I have to respawn on my bed. Today was a total failure. Uh, let's see if we can summon the right body. Should be able to. Uh, we lost both our golems. Uh, we died there because I mistakenly pressed the, the Q for the... For the auto targeting i have to unbind that key i don't like the auto targeting so i get kind of confused and panicked didn't didn't go our way this this wasn't our episode we were lacking on getting the archpriest so that is and we got some stuff out of that. Not too much. Some fragments of power are nice. Let's quickly get our armor. Just so we don't go to the temple of Set looking like a hobo. Yeah, maybe going into that dungeon we should take this set of armor. Because if we die we can recover from from it. The other set of armor is better in terms of combat ability, but uh, we can get two hit by most by any of those bosses, and that's an issue because if we make a small mistake, we lose our armor, and that turns into into a big into a big problem. Not sure if I showed you already, but we did build some stairs around here to our temple area just so we don't have to go all around every time the set altar is already upgraded okay we have enough to start the next level for our sanctum okay we are almost done with the upgrade of the temple it takes a while so we just cut to this position here I took the high priest out because part of the journey steps is also to put the high priest inside the temple so I don't want to confuse them by upgrading it with the high priest there. And this is it. The temple of Set. The final version. Upgrade an altar to the final level. 
so the next step will be to assign high priest to the altar it is the arch priest that they mean i am going to wait for the training of the arch priest just to check that out if if that is if that's the case okay guys so we were waiting for our arch priest to finish training we have him our over here, Hoshun the Feng. We are going to replace the high priest with this guy and assign a high priest to the altar. So that's a bit misleading. The journey step did complete. Assign a high priest to the altar. So I'm not sure if this is a remnant from what previously the the priests were called or something like that. And this is it for this episode, guys. We went into Sepper Meru, got a Arch Priest real quick. So we decided to venture into the cellar, testing our two brand new Iron Golems uh, to see if they're strong enough to go through that dungeon. Turns out they're not. Joined with the lack of physical prowess that Nefrikari has, the dungeon was quite rough and we were ultimately defeated. But Nefrikari is not happy with this failure, so he will go back there and destroy Thog the Destroyer in a future episode, for sure. As always, I really appreciate any comments or feedback you guys have for me in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.